Hello students, Dr. Crozier here with a quick tutorial on taking a Respondus Lockdown Browser quiz or exam or test of some sort using Respondus Lockdown Browser and Monitor or Webcam. Now, in order to do this, I actually had to record part of the video from an external device, namely an iPad camera, and part from screen capture. Now, before you begin an exam, you want to check to make sure that any apps or uh, software that you might have open on your laptop, you close. And of course, if there are some files that you're working on, like these PowerPoints or Word documents, you might want to save them before you do this. Now, notice I have my browsers here, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, and a completely separate browser, Lockdown Browser, which I downloaded from Canvas. You must start by opening Lockdown Browser, not going to Canvas through any other browser type. Now, I open Lockdown Browser, and it's going to search for any open apps that are going to interfere or should not be used. And so I have two options. I can quick lockdown browser, which I did there, and go and close it myself, or and then reopen lockdown browser, or I could simply click on close applications and allow lockdown browser to close the applications for me, which I did on this second occasion. Now it takes me to my learning management system, which is Canvas. You can see me here typing in my access ID and my password. Again, I'm recording the screen here from an iPad camera for this portion because once Lockdown Browser is open, my screen capture software was closed. So once you go into your dashboard, go to the course where the quiz or exam or test is going to take place. I'm using a practice course here. I select this and when I open it, I'll simply go to quizzes. In quizzes, you should see the exam or quiz, whatever it is you're taking, available to you. Here I have Dr. Crozier's sample quiz for Respondus Lockdown Browser plus Respondus Monitor demonstration. And so I click on that. Now, I'm actually going to show you what would happen after the setup. I'd see the instructions. But notice a few details that will come along at that point. It'll tell you when it's due. That is the uh, due date for the particular assessment. That is, you must complete it before that. This particular assessment is three points. It has three questions. It's just a sample demonstration. But you'll also see when it becomes available. In this case, it becomes available at 11 in the morning on this date, and it's actually available over a three-day period. Now, that typically won't be the case, but this is for me to create a demonstration video. And so it must be completed before the due date, which in this case is three days later at 8 a.m. Once you begin the assessment and finish the setup, there will be a time limit. This one in particular has a 20-minute time limit. Each assessment will be different, and you'll be given those instructions. But here are the instructions. This demonstration exam requires lockdown browser and monitor, that is a webcam, whether it's a built-in webcam or a separate external device. And I only ask that you follow the instructions closely. So I'm gonna go through those with you. Obviously you need to open lockdown browser from your device first, whether you save it on your desktop or in your applications as I had it in my uh, navigation panel at the bottom of my laptop screen. Then log into your learning management system, then select your course, go to quizzes and open the quiz, test, or exam, whatever it is. If you had opened Canvas quizzes from another browser like Chrome or Firefox, close the browser, start all over again by opening Lockdown Browser first. Please, when you do this, follow the setup for taking the exam with your webcam. Several things I'm going to point out right now, your photo should be clear. Your student ID card or government issued photo ID should be clear. Don't have your fingers covering the picture or your name. Your environment check should be thorough. I need to see what you can see behind your webcam. I need to see your desktop, for example. Once you start, there is a time limit, and a timer will show throughout the duration of the exam. At this point, you would simply start the quiz. Now, I can't show you the webcam check and everything while in Lockdown Browser, so I'm doing a screen capture here outside of Lockdown Browser. First, you're going to do a webcam check. Do you see your image in the window? I had the window covered over my camera. I had to open that. Yes, I do. Adjust the camera so your image appears properly in the window. While speaking your normal voice, say the alphabet or count to 10. Click record, five second video. And this is just a webcam check to make sure your camera's working, your microphone's working. And so I've muted the sound, but I said the alphabet there. I got most of the way through before I forgot the next letter. And I was able to record a five second video. It stops and asks me a couple questions. Should I continue? Should I try again? Or is it not working? It plays it back for me and I can answer that question. If it's not working, click on it is not working and you'll be given a series of options to choose from why it's not working. My webcam isn't working, the webcam is working but I'm having an issue playing back the video, my webcam is working but it's the wrong camera, 
I have an issue with the audio and so on. So if one of those are the problems, simply click on that particular problem and click next. If everything's okay, click continue. Next, I want to look at additional instructions. During this exam, you should not ex access other resources such as your phone, a tablet, notes, textbook, unless otherwise instructed. You should not be communicating with other people in your house or uh, online or any other way. Please stay in your seat during the exam and focus on the computer screen until the exam is complete. If an interruption occurs, briefly explain what happened by speaking directly into the webcam. I'll be able to go back and watch the recording of that. The next thing are guidelines and tips. There are actually five different pages here. You can see those five circles at the bottom of the screen that indicate there are instructions in each of these pages. First, select a quiet location where you won't be interrupted or distracted. Avoid rooms where children or other people are present. Turn off televisions, radios, music, and so on. Second, make sure that your internet connection is consistent and strong. Run the webcam check, the system and network check, and lock down browser. If your internet is shared with others, make sure they aren't streaming videos or using applications that can slow down your internet connection in your household. Please ask them just to take a break while you do your exam. Please place your computer on a device or device on a flat, hard surface such as a table, a desk. Sit in a chair. Don't place a comp computer in your lap, on a bed, on the floor. Don't lay or sit on the bed or couch. If you're using a built-in webcam, avoid tilting the screen after the webcam setup is complete. I'll show you what that looks like and it's a reason for many flags. You start off with a nice photo idea and then to read the first question, you tilt the screen back and you're no longer visible. Just like you're in an in-class exam, don't wear sunglasses or hats with brims. And uh, be reminded, you're on camera here, you are being recorded. Take an exam in a well-lit room and don't have a window or a light directly behind your head, otherwise you'll just be a silhouette. Finally, unless instructed otherwise, turn off all other devices such as phones, tablets, and computers and place them outside of your reach Clear your workspace, your desktop of all materials, papers, notes, and so on. Lockdown browser prevents you from accessing other websites or applications. It will take care of that. Fourth, your photo ID. Position your face so it fills most of the picture window below. Look into the camera and click Take Picture. So here I'm going to click Take Picture. Now I happen to, perhaps during the exam, change my position. If you're going to sit leaning on your elbow during the exam, then take your picture here in that angle because your angle shouldn't be cha changing during the exam. Sit how you're going to take the exam. I took my picture, oh, my eyes are closed. I'm gonna try again, I don't like that. I wanna get a better picture. If it's not working, click it's not working and you can go through that checklist again. Your photo ID or show ID. Here you should use your student ID card with your picture and your ID number on it. If you do not have one, you can use a government issued photo ID like a driver's license, for example. So. When you're ready to show your ID, hold it up to the screen. What many students end up doing unwittingly is they have their fingers over the picture or their access ID number. And so I can see part of the card, but not all of it. This is not a quality photo. What you need to do, rather than cover your face or your information, hold the card by the edges of the card, just the corners or edges, so that the information is clearly visible and move your fingers back you should look at the picture afterward to make sure that it was a good quality picture. The next item in your checklist before taking the exam is the environment check. The environment check is probably the most important step in your checklist from the instructor's viewpoint. And so I'm going to exaggerate some of the details of what is expected from your instructors when doing the environment check. When you are ready to do the environment check, first you want to make sure the area around your computer is clear, papers, books, phones, etc. Click Start Recording and slowly tilt, pan your webcam so a brief video can be made of the area around your computer. Now, before you actually start, if you're using a laptop or iPad, you'll want to first unplug that device so that you can pick it up and turn it around and do a 360 degree angle around your environment. Most importantly, I want to see what you see. Not what the webcam sees, but what you see beyond your webcam. Once you hit Start Recording, it will tell you when the recording has started. You can then pick up your webcam and you can show your desktop. For example, I'll zoom in just to give you a clearer picture of what that would look like. Here you see an iPad and phone. You would not want those on your desk. You can show there are no notes in your lap. And in fact, to exaggerate this point, if you want it, you could stand up and walk around your desk and show the environment. Now, I'm not expecting a tour of your house or anything like this during your exam, but I do want to see what you see from where you're sitting. Now this will actually let you record for up to one minute. 
when you first hit start recording, the stop recording icon appears almost instantly. That doesn't mean you have to stop recording. It's just there so when you're ready, you can. A lot of students just show me what's behind them. Well, I can already see that on the webcam. That's not very useful for me. When you're done, be sure to plug your device back in so that you don't lose power during the exam. And you can simply click on stop recording. Again, you can record for up to a minute. The software will prepare the video and you can see here I recorded for 57 seconds. It then plays back the video so you can see that it's not too grainy, that it's clear. Even if you just did this, you simply showed me basically a still image of what your desktop looks like, what you see from where you're sitting. That would help me tremendously because in an in-class exam, I can see 360 degrees around you. You don't have to get up and walk around the room and show me every aspect here, but I want to be able to see clearly from where you're sitting, what you see. Again, many students when doing the environment check will give me a short three or four second shaky video. It looks like an earthquake struck during the recording. They simply will tilt their camera, lean back and show me what's right behind them. Well, I can already see that during the duration of the exam. I need to see what you see. Again, don't forget to plug your computer in before actually starting the exam. The next item in your checklist is the facial detection check. This is also very important. Your face needs to be well positioned in the video camera and clearly visible during the exam. You may proceed once facial detection is successful. If it's successful, you'll get a green thumbs up. Now, often during exams, students will get a good thumbs up here. And then when the exam starts, they'll tilt their camera back so they can see the words of the question more clearly. And then they're out of frame. Try to determine before the exam starts where the edges of your frame are to the left and to the right above and below so that you can keep your face within those parameters. Many students will start the exam and then lean off to one side to read the questions and they'll get flagged for doing so. That's okay. I can check later, but I want to be able to see both of your eyes and your face during the exam. If you plan to sit and lean on your arm during the exam, then take your photo ID and do your environment check and everything from that angle. Get in the position you plan to sit and then do the checklist from that position. When you're ready, click continue. Now, I've actually put this into the software and requested that it notifies students during the exam that the face cannot be detected and to prompt you to fix the problem. If you get a flag or warning during the exam that your face cannot be detected, that you are out of frame, that is not a problem with the software. You need to stop, get back in frame. Some students are actually turning off the notification. That's not the point. It's not a glitch. It is you are leaning too far forward, too far back, too far to the left or right, and it cannot see your face during the exam. So please heed those warnings and stay in frame. Once you've gone through that, now you can take the quiz. And when you click on take the quiz, it will open it up. It'll give you the instructions I showed you earlier. You can read through those again if you wish. And notice on the right-hand corner, there's a time running. 19 minutes, 48 seconds, 47 seconds, 46 seconds, and so on. This is my countdown because this had a 20-minute time limit. Notice also you can see all the questions. You can scroll ahead and look at future questions, come back to the question you're working on for this particular assessment. So question one, I've taken a photo of my face and it is clear. Oh, difficult question. I'm trying to remember, did I take a clear photo of my face? Yes, I did. All right, question two, I've taken photos of my student ID. Well, I actually used a bank card. I covered most of it. Let's pretend I did, yes. And question number three, I've completed the environment check. Yes, option two is clear that I have no open textbooks or notes or other monitors to read from. Three, I showed what is behind the camera. Yes, I showed my desktop. Yes, all of these are true. Excellent. Now I can submit my quiz. Once you submit your quiz, you'll be able to leave Lockdown Browser. Just like any other browser, you can simply go and X out of that and the browser will shut down. I wish you all the best during your assessments. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.